Hi, and welcome again to my sound room. I'm really lucky to have this space and I'm making myself uh, tidy it up after I finish a project. And I mean, it's the logical thing to do, but once I finish something, I run upstairs to show it and to see how it looks in a different place in the house and things like that. So I always forget or I think I'll do it later or uh, I never do it. So I'm trying to leave it as nothing happened. And this mess always happens on the cutting table, of course, especially that corner over there. It is a scientific fact that any table that is against a wall is going to accumulate stuff there. It can be books, uh, pencils, a uh, kitchen roll, anything but the mess is going to happen and that's what I want to avoid I know I have books and I have things I need to sew my scissors and stuff but I, I need it to be contained because when I'm doing a project I always push stuff up there and it remains there and that's what I want to make myself not to do I want my books and stuff to be there, but tidy. And this is when this comes into scene. This is a CD shelf that the person who had it didn't want anymore, so I reclaimed it. <laughs> so they brought it to me because I always get all the trash nobody wants. It would be really nice to put plants on, but the ceiling I have here is really low, so I think it would be right on your face when you get in, so I don't want to hang it. And I thought of this for that corner because I think it's a really good idea because I can make myself only use this space to accumulate stuff. So that way the things I use on an everyday basis are here and don't spread on the table. It's a sort of veneer, I, you can see here, it's not proper wood like the table is and I don't like the color, it's quite yellowish. So I came to the conclusion to put some black vinyl on top. <laughs> So this unit is a whole piece, it's not attached, the back and the top are not attached to each other but they come together with the shelves. So if I take it apart everything comes to pieces. So I came to the conclusion that I'm going to unscrew this fork in the middle so I can attach the paper in longer pieces so it comes better instead of having to cut a lot of pieces because it won't look professional if I do and then I'll do the shelves and now that I have everything ready let's start I have this tool that is to push bubbles uh, out of the what you're sticking the paper on and if you don't have this uh, simple cloth on top don't have to be wet or anything and I've even seen people use credit cards for this but you may scratch the paper so you have to be careful. If there is a bubble you seem to not get rid of, you just lift the paper and do it again and they will come off easily. I'm so happy with the result, I think it was the best idea ever because it looks much more professional and I 
use less paper and it's much quicker and I'm so happy that I'm going to do the same with those two that are left and even though I have to put it all together later it doesn't matter I think it's much much better and these parts that you see that aren't uh, stuck is because of the this type of food but that's the one that's going to be hidden so it's no problem at all So I've just seen an um, IKEA label here and it says Beno and I'm looking for it and it is a, a city stand. So this video has turned into an IKEA hack. I've just finished one of the signs of the long ones and uh, they are so long that I decided to do it in two steps. First the front and then I'm going to add a bit to the back just so it's a bit more finished and you don't see this although it's going to be against the wall but anyway Looking good isn't it? The only problem I had was with this one that had the hole a bit further up, I don't know why, uh, but the rest are okay, the rest was fine. So I'm going to screw the bottoms and then it'll be done. I think it looks so much better it has the same stuff even more because I added a box where I'm going to keep uh, the bobbins and a few uh, normal threads like black and white and I think it looks fantastic it keeps everything tidy and I'm not allowed to get down the step so it's so much better I kept the scissors and the pins and all that in the middle so I can reach easily from both sides and then I have my books the ruler is up there and it's wonderful I'm so pleased I think it would look so much better if the room had something else in black so I'm going to wrap the side of the IKEA cabinets we used to build the table. So I think if I wrap it in black, you won't see it and it will look really nice. this video and this little IKEA hack and let me know down in the comments if you've been inspired by this somehow and if you are going to change something around the house so you can get the most use of it and what else subscribe don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and see you in the next one bye